In this video, we will demonstrate how to calculate the expected value, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation for a potential investment with a rate of return of 8%, with a probability of 30%, a rate of return of 2%, with a probability of 40%, and a rate of return of a loss of 5% with a probability of 30%. The standard deviation we will calculate is the riskiness of this investment or the uncertainty in its rate of return. Uh, roughly two-thirds, 68% of the probabilities of its rate of return will fall beneath the expected value of the investment plus one standard deviation and the expected value of the investment minus one standard deviation. The coefficient of variation is a ratio of the risk measured by standard deviation over the expected value. Ideally, you would like a high expected uh, rate of return and a low risk or low standard deviation. So if we look at this graph, since both of these investments have the same expected rate of return, the blue one has a lower risk than the green one, so the blue one would be preferred, and that is the same thing as saying it would have a lower coefficient of variation. So, for example, if investing in mutual funds, you would pick out the one with the lowest coefficient of variation or the lowest risk per unit of rate of return. For our particular investment, when we first calculate expected value, we need to take each probability times each rate of return and sum them. A probability of 0.3 times a rate of return of 0.08 gives us 0.024. 0.4 times 0.02 is 0.008, and 0.3 times negative 1.05 is negative 0.015. Sum of all these, we get an expected rate of return of 0.017, or 1.7%. To calculate the variance, or the standard deviation squared, we take each probability times the individual rate of returns, minus this expected value squared. After that, we will take the square root to get the standard deviation. So, for example, for our first rate of return, 0.018 minus 0.017 gives us 0 0.063. 0 0.02 minus 0 0.017 gives us 0 0.003. And negative 0 0.05 minus 0 0.017 gives us negative 0.067. We can square each of these numbers, then multiply this number, which is ri minus e hat squared times the probability. Do that for each of them, and then sum all of these numbers to get the variance. The standard deviation is then the square root of the variance. The final number we want, the coefficient of variation, is again the standard deviation divided by the expected value, which in this case is 2.9652. And again, we could compare the coefficient of variation with this investment with the coefficient of variation of other investments, and ideally we would prefer the one with the lowest coefficient of variation are the lowest risk per unit of rate of return. I thank you for watching this video.